Hey, what's up? It's Jeff, and this is Fallout 3. Uh, specifically, this is the Operation Anchorage uh, downloadable content pack uh, that was released this week. This is a little ways into it uh, with some of the new stuff. Basically, you get a radio signal, um, and uh, this radio signal points you in the direction of this outcast base. And they are trying to get into some kind of vault, which I assume that's what that vault is back there, uh, that is supposedly full of some kick-ass gear. But they can't get into it unless someone can complete this simulation. And since I happen to have a computer on my wrist, that puts me in a unique position of being able to help them. Um, so I'm given a neural interface suit, which you can see if I pop out to third person, you can see a little silly suit there. Uh, the helmet's not part of it, that's just my wicked helmet. Um... And then uh, I can hop in here and basically have to relive the Chinese invasion of Anchorage, Alaska, which is one of the key moments of the Fallout universe. Uh, you know, it hasn't really been shown in, in game before. Uh, so now we're, we're jumping in here and then it'll actually load for a little bit and we'll be in the past. Now, one of the things I was worried about with this uh, expansion is that, you know, you wouldn't get any gear. You know, since the whole thing's a simulation, it's like, you know, you're not... None of the items you're picking up are real or anything like that. So, you know, you start to wonder, like, is it, you know, just going to be this separate thing that's not going to get you anything cool? But since they're trying to, these outcasts are trying to get all this gear, they promised you a share of it. So by completing this simulation, that's how you'll get something. I was a hell of a nasty fall. When your shoot bunched up like that, I thought you were gone. Hope the other guys did. I don't think their patrol spotted us coming in, so at least we still have the jump. You still have your gear, so I'm gonna let you make the call. You can go in quiet, or guns blazing. We'll still meet at the rendezvous point inside, as planned. Then we'll blow those artillery guns to hell. Just watch yourself. Red's up here don't take prisoners. Good luck. So he's gonna run off and go climb this wall. Because he can, and I can't. Pull out third person, you see, I'm just a basically a different dude. I'm wearing my winterized little armor. Uh, you don't have any of the stuff that you normally have. So I have my armor and helmet. I have a trench knife and a silenced pistol. Uh, one stealth boy, and then some of the weird stuff that I had before, and some bobby pins for lock picking. Uh, so you're given a silenced pistol because this is kind of, of a sneaky mission. Um, you don't necessarily have to play it that way, but... There's definitely going to be some parts where it's going to be to your benefit to have them not see you. Uh, so I, I'm not playing a very stealthy character. I put most of my stuff into speech. And this seems to be a very combat-focused pack, uh, which is a little weird. Um, but we're going to come over the ridge here. There's this Chinese dude here that I'm going to smoke. Just got to be a little bit quiet. Get up close enough here. To, oh, no, well. So much for sneak attack, but how about I just pop him in the head three times with this pistol and hope for the best. Oh. And that guy over there is not too happy about it. Uh, this is not going to go great, but the benefit is, uh, I don't you know, I can sit here and get shot because there's this health dispenser right here, and I can just kind of hit that over and over again. Um and not have to worry about dying. You know, just like the real invasion of, of Anchorage, there was health everywhere. Uh, so maybe I can... Oh, it's over there. Let's reload here, drop back into vats. Hey, what's up? Blau, blau. Oh, I missed. Not really too much you can do there uh, with this stupid pistol. Except try to get a little closer so you can get like a slightly better VATS percentage. Not liking 12% too much, but, uh, you know. Shoot him with a gun. See if he drops it. Nope. Alright, well. He'll get his. We'll get over here. Uh, the other key thing is that you can't pick up anything from dropped uh, that that enemies drop because since this is a simulation, they disintegrate basically as soon as they uh, as soon as they die. So watch all. Man, this pistol sucks. So he'll just go like meow. 
I want that gun, though. Uh, you do get some different weapons a little later on. So that's kind of how they force you into a, like a very specific structure throughout the pack of you know determining what weapons you have, what weapons you can have, and, and how much ammo you have. They put these ammo dispensers around. Oh, hey, yeah, this guy's still over here. We're... Hello, friend. I have something for you, friend. Three of those. Pop, pop, pop. And then one more, you know, just to prove I can shoot myself. Oh, hey, where do these guys come from? Jeez, I better get down here where there's another health dispenser, huh? Keep on shooting. I don't care. Do -do 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 -do. Ammo is also a problem, but you'll find uh, ammo dispensers around as well. Take a little bit of that, and some of that, and a little bit of that. I've crippled him in the head. Three bullets tend to do that. All right, let's see. Here's so now we have a Chinese assault rifle, which would be way more handy than that stupid pistol. Now that I've uh, stupidly alerted everyone. <coughs> when I played this last night, I actually was uh, relatively stealthy there for a while. Uh, oh, yeah, all right, fine. Check this out. Analog. So the Bloody Mess perk still works here, obviously. Um, all your perks do, really. So, you know, your, your stats do kind of play off of, uh, of stuff. So, um, the, like, the mysterious uh, trench coat wearing gentleman will occasionally show up when I'm in VATS, uh, which is cool, uh, even though he was probably not around when the Chinese actually invaded Anchorage. So, you know, it's not canon. I have kind of a whatever attitude for the combat in this game, especially when they put all these health canisters everywhere. You kind of don't really have to put too much thought into it. And, oh, well, now I'm just shooting. That didn't work out. Um, but let's reload. Pick up some more ammo. Hey, more ammo, I said. All right. Why the hate, Chinese? Why we got to... I even watched the opening ceremonies of your Olympics, and this is how it goes down. I'm just gonna dump on this guy, whatever. There's a dude across over there, too. 3%, I like my chances. That one. Hoping that maybe my mysterious strange friend would appear and uh, take care of Biz, but can't always, uh, you know, it's health up here. These health canisters, as far as I can tell, don't run out. Uh, and there are enough of them kind of spread out that, uh, you know, get this mine while I'm at it. That you don't really have to worry too much, which I guess, uh, you know, I don't mind it because they don't let you take any of your food in here with you or anything. So you don't have any of your gear that you would use to make yourself more survivable. So it's, uh, it's a decent way, I guess, of, of handling that stuff. Um... Let's see. I want to say there's a sniper rifle up here, but I could be lying. There is a sniper rifle around here somewhere. Nope, just uh, another stealth boy. You know, I played through uh, all of Fallout 3 without ever using a stealth boy. I had guns, you know. I didn't know that. Well, now you know. So, you know, oil pipelines, I assume, and some snow. And, uh... This is the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Let me go up over here. Get shot for a little while. Whoa. Got stuck on that rock there. Uh, I'm currently level 13, so this stuff does seem to just kind of scale right alongside, uh, you know, all the other content. You don't have to worry too much about... There's two of you up here, huh? How do you like that? And then some of that. So that guy's head came off.
Also, weapon condition doesn't seem to be an issue. Uh, you start with all your weapons at full condition, and it doesn't seem like they ever deteriorate or anything as you're fighting, so you don't have to worry about repairing stuff in the simulation. I'll play a little bit, while, uh, a little bit more here while we're inside and then jump ahead. Uh, the structure of this is basically broken up into a few different missions uh, as part of the same operation. Uh, here I'm trying to infiltrate this base, and then I'm rendezvousing with the guy we were talking to earlier, and then we're going to take out some artillery positions. Whoa. Hey, what's up? He dropped uh, his Gauss rifle here, which is a pretty powerful... Uh, a pretty powerful exploding weapon with a good scope on it. Let's just uh, shoot one of these and then we'll jump ahead to the, the other save, which is basically on the other side of the of taking out the art artillery stuff, uh, which is actually where I stopped last night, so I don't know what the heck's past that. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's not. Uh, walk up this little pathway over here. This will go poorly for him. Yep. Did you notice there that the sound effects didn't play on the VAT stuff? Uh, since uh, installing this pack, which I have not played uh, Fallout 3 for a while now, um, those the sounds don't play all the time. It seems, it, I don't know, it seems a little janky in spots. Uh, but I guess, you know, Fallout's always kind of seemed a little, little janky here and there, so. And here's where we meet up with our bro. Hey, dude. Yeah. God damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. I know, those commies, right? Yeah. I almost bought it out of the cliffs. Didn't know the reds were so handy with a sniper rifle. Damn reds. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? Yep, let's go. I'm curious about something. Let's find out before we load up our other save here. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess that's, uh... One way to, you know, say that, hey, that's a simulation. Huh. Let's load up the other save. So, immediately after you take out the... Uh, artillery guns, uh, you're basically warped back to base. You know, it's a simulation. They want to keep you focused on the action, so you don't have to trudge all the way back to some sort of headquarters or something. You come back here and you get a bit of a briefing and then we got to talk to the lieutenant here who's got so, glasses. You're in charge of Patterson's suicide squad, huh? Hey, all I got to keep me warm out here in this freeze box is my sense of humor. Anyway, I'm here to give you a hand with intelligence and logistics. Whatever you need, I'm your guy. Don't worry about it. Sergeant Montgomery will be your squad commander, and he knows all the ins and outs of the team. If you need anything, like reinforcements or status reports, just speak to him. So, what else can I do for you before you hit the field? I need to discuss my strike okay, team. Okay, that's what I'm here for. Uncle Sam's made it really easy for you. All you have to do is use Patterson's terminal. Use the recruitment markers I gave you. Oh, so I'm actually building like a team, like a posse. You can always speak to your strike team squad leader and requisition a new unit if you've lost one. Okay. That's my spe yes, You've got two fuel tanks. This I'm gonna attack it with Bellerophon. Can do. Just use the requisition. Pick whatever loadout you need, and the terminal will dispense a requisition tape. The government Okay, so You watch I get a little bit of uh, choice in what I'm doing here, so let's requisition some gear. Uh, what is the fire team package? Assault rifle. I'm liking that. 12 grenades that I'll never use. What's the assault package? Power fist. Combat shotgun? No thanks. Sniper package? No. Heavy weapons? No. Let's just go with the fire team package. Requisition dispensed. So, okay. So now I have the requisition thing. 
Let's assemble a posse of stout bros. Uh, let's get an infantry guy. And how about... I think I have five markers and all, so my Mr. Gutsy might be fun. Let's get a Mr. Gutsy. And uh, an infantryman. No, let's get a grenade guy. Dismiss the guy. Grenade guy. Commit team. Deploy team. Uh, Sergeant Montgomery. I think it's time to show red what the US Army is all, about. all right. We can, we can do that if you want. Let's go outside. This is interesting. I mean, yeah, the, the whole part about, you know, picking a, lo a weapon load out and, and assembling some guys, that's kind of cool. I did not expect uh, to have uh, those, sort of, those sorts of options. But overall, it seems like this whole thing really is combat-focused. I mean, you are kind of pushing back uh, an offensive, so it's uh, spawning my, my crew here. Well, looks like we're working together again, sir. And thanks to your promotion, I guess I'll be saluting you from now on. That's right, punk. Simulation? What the hell are you talking about? This is as real as it gets, G.I. And thanks to you, a lot of guys are still vertical. All in a day's work, he says. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Subroutines? This is an army gig, not the Navy. Look, some of the guys out here. That's now. Well, everyone's ready to go kick some commie ass, sir. What are you? Uh, <laughs> let's go to the Chinese ice camp. It's Chinese, they love their ice. You guys go later, robot and some dudes. Uh, can I, can I get some better armor? What are, what are we doing here? Huh, well this one, uh, oh, uh, I, I need my gear. <laughs> Where do I go to get gear? Sir. How about the command tent? Let's try in there, see if we can gear up, and then maybe we'll call it a day. But uh, this is the second phase of it, and uh, basically, when you get briefed immediately before that, it tells you that you've got multiple... Oh, this is where I was. Those targets can't secure themselves. <laughs> you got a job to do, soldier. Now snap to it! Fine, fine. Hope the operation is going well. Can do. Pick whatever look. If I were a quartermaster officer, where would I hide? Sir. What? Leave me alone. You hurt? You're the doctor, not the quartermaster. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh oh. <laughs> um, so, I punched the doctor, which apparently activated her as hostile, and as soon as it was hostile to American forces, she flipped, everyone flipped out and killed her. Uh, speech. Uh, whoa, they're not talking. Whoa, they're game locking up. All right, well, we found uh, the awesome hidden deep within Operation Anchorage. Um, oh, Hell, there it goes. You earned a lot of respect with the soldiers for what you did to those Chinese Whoa, artillery Whoa, mouth guns. not moving. Tell you what, take this extra gear with you. Requisitions be damned. If anyone asks, it fell off a truck. It fell off a truck. Everything. All right. Uh, is the doctor back up? Hurt? Check this out. Oh, 
it's a simulation. It's not meant to be realistic. It's all VR. <laughs> Uh, with that, let's, uh, let's, let's call it quits. This is Operation Anchorage. And uh, I guess it's just the doctor that'll do that. So, yeah, check it out. It's available now for both PC and Xbox 360.